Hi, I'm Paul Torgerson. It's Friday, June 24th, 2022, and this is a look at the information security news from overnight. From the register, a state-sponsored Chinese threat group that SecureWorks has named Bronze Starlight has a ransomware campaign that is targeting pharmaceutical companies, electronic component designers and manufacturers, U.S. law firms, and aerospace and defense companies. The thing is, the ransomware is just a decoy. Researchers believe the true aim is cyber espionage, which explains why these specific types of companies are being targeted. Link to that research in the article. From Bleeping Computer, researchers have noticed a new tool they call Quantum that helps cyber criminals build malicious LNK files to deliver payloads. These are especially popular in phishing campaigns currently being used by Emotet, Bumblebee, Qbot, and Iced ID. Quantum features a graphical interface and hundreds of icon and extension spoofing options, and you can rent it starting at less than 200 euros a month. A link to the Cybel research in the article. From the Hacker News, Researchers have discovered a number of malicious Python packages in the official third-party software repository that are engineered to exfiltrate AWS credentials and environment variables to a publicly exposed endpoint. What's not for certain is if this is a result of an attack or some sort of pen test situation. It would be at least the third such example of a pen tester making a point in the last month or so. From Threat Post. Google is warning that the Hermit spyware by RCS Labs out of Italy is being deployed against Android and iOS users. The campaign is targeting victims in Kazakhstan and Italy. Last week, it was learned that the Kazakh government was using the same spyware against its own citizens. Google says the fake apps containing the spyware are not in the Google Play or Apple stores and are only downloaded from third-party websites. And last today from the Hacker News, a suspected ransomware intrusion against an unnamed target is leveraging a Linux-based Mattel VOIP appliance as an entry point. CrowdStrike says the threat actor is exploiting a 9.8 severity bug that Mattel had patched back in April and are utilizing a couple of anti-forensic measures to erase traces of their actions. Details and links in the article. That's all for me today. Have a great weekend. Like and subscribe. And until next week, be safe out there.